Hi friends, are you ready to have fun drawing? Let's start! Let's start drawing like this, slowly and quietly, as if we were drawing a triangle. You see, but instead of doing it very squared and with many perspective rules, we're going to do it freely. If you don't follow any specific perspective rules, we will make a more organic, more artistic drawing today. We're using nothing but this pencil, a 6B, I use this pencil on camera mostly, well the drawing too, but I use it on the camera to make it look good as it is darker, it glows less, and with the spotlights and the camera when drawing the glows, prevent the drawing from being seen correctly. You can use the pencil you have at home. It can be the pencil you use at school. Or the pencil you use to go to the office. Or the one you have at home or if you have an art pencil. Much better. Obviously, how much better is the quality of the pencil? Better strokes will give you, but pencils by themselves can't make works of art. The artist is you. You are the one who draws. You are the one who does everything, if you don't believe me. Put the pencil on the paper and look at it carefully for one minute. You will find that the pencil does nothing. Even if it is the most expensive pencil in the world, it will not draw anything for you. You're the one with the credit. And who can draw? Well, one of the secrets of drawing is to suggest things. As you can see, I suggest the lines I made in the house because there are trees, there are shadows, doors. But I'm not drawing them all. Okay, let's get to drawing the trees, some fir trees. We make these lines mainly to distribute the trees in the drawing. We started like this. This is the trick from this to this tutorial. This tree is made in two stages the first one is like this. It's like we're making a few lines in a zigzag. Like they're the letter Z to one side and the other. They must be asymmetrical and longer than each other. But most importantly, longer. The line below and the second stage of this movement. Like the curve of a ship. You see it like this. It goes one way and the other. You see it like this. We're doing the next phase. This creates the illusion that the tree is not flat, but has several branches in different directions, just like a real fir. If this fir tree is visually closer in the drawing, we will have to give it more details. But since they are far away, we don't need to draw every branch, so it's easy. Easy, easy. We have achieved a very cute and very suggestive fur. We're going to do two plus one here and another one on the other side of the house, so you're going to be able to watch the process a couple more times. And in the meantime, I'm taking the time to keep telling you other very important things and other drawing tricks. So I suggest you keep listening. We talked about pencils not being important or paper itself. Although it's a half truth to draw, well with a pencil is interesting and it's better that the paper you use has a little pore that isn't completely smooth. Very very smooth paper is only used in hyper-realistic portraits and hyper-realistic drawings because it has to be blurred a lot, a lot, a lot. Therefore there must be no pencil marks. Because it is a very smooth paper it is very easy to blur. However, if you are making an artistic drawing that is not hyper-realistic but realistic as this is the case Having the pencil polo, that is, a little rough, allows you to draw more loosely, make darker tones, and enhance textures. I was pointing out to you in the video that one way to keep the mind sharp is to go around the pencil. So once we have... 
Down a little with that part of the mine, we turn the pencil, and the other part is still sharp, and so we save ourselves being constantly tip out. It is not always necessary to have the pencil sharpened for all drawings, but if it is important that it is not completely round, because a pencil with round strokes and very round mine at the end does not achieve good drawings. Remember if your pencil sharpener is very, very sharp, you'll get darker, more interesting strokes. But note, you have to draw with a pencil more smoothly. Why? Because the mine, the tip of a very sharp pencil, can cut and tear your sheet of paper and damage it. As you can see, I have repeated and repeated the process of the three fir trees. In three different places, in three different fir trees. If you like, you can draw more fir trees or, for example, some mountains behind this house. The important thing here is to draw and have fun. Drawing and painting should never be a pain. Forget those Hollywood movies where the artists. They suffer looking at his painting. That's Hollywood drama. Does a real artist enjoy his art? You can do it, you can enjoy it, and if you're wrong, nothing happens, because everyone is wrong. This is the eraser, and if you can't erase it, you can use your mistakes, first to learn, and second, you can definitely get something good from the mistakes you made in your drawing. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it if you haven't already done it. If you like this content, you know that there are many more videos on the channel and I upload more videos regularly, so nothing, be happy. Enjoy it and see you in the next video, bye.